Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today, as I promised a few days ago, I'm going to go in depth on all the various new features and everything that's new and cool with 3.0. Um, this will probably take me quite a few videos because 3.0 is has tons of new stuff. Uh, what I'm going to go through on this video is I'm going to talk to you guys and show you Spotlight Search. I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit about push notifications. I'm also going to talk to you guys and show you the improvements to the YouTube application. Uh, and that's definitely a lot improved. Anyway, so let's get this one started. Okay guys, so I'm going to begin with, I'm going to talk about Spotlight Search. Uh, Spotlight Search, if you don't know, basically Spotlight Search is a application, well it's not an actual application, but it's basically, it's basically what you do is you're on your, when you're on your home screen, you scroll left, and basically you will get a little search box. And um, basically you search, you can punch in whatever you want to search for, um, and basically it will search your entire iPod or iPhone. Um, it will search music, it will search your mail, it will search your contacts, or it will search your apps. Um, it's very cool. Um, well, one of the really cool things that comes along with Spotlight Search, this is this is not a, I mean, this is just kind of thing, um, I'll just toss in here. Uh, before, you were limited to nine pages of apps. If you had more, they would kind of be on there you could sync them but it was kind of a little glitchy and I mean they were in the back you couldn't use them and when you delete them sometimes they reappeared it was kind of a little odd um, now there's two improvements to that thanks to spotlight search one well this is there's 11 you have 11 pages in addition to your uh, little search page so you can have 12 dots on the bottom but two is that even if you have more apps than that then you can easily find them through Spotlight Search. So let's say you have 11 pages full of apps, but you know that you have another, let's say, 20 or 30. Really, is, is only limited by the space that you have on your device. Basically, what you do is you go go over to Spotlight Search and punch in, let's say I have Seven Days Apocalypse that's on my my 13th page, and I want to get to it, but I can't obviously can't get to it through normally. So all I have to do is search it, and then it will appear on the Spotlight Search. I hit it, it launches. It's simple as that. That's something I really think is really cool, just because, I mean, I always thought that why would you be have to be limited by just, you know, not having enough pages or whatever. Um, and obviously, jailbreaking does that. They have, there's all kinds of workarounds through that. So I'm glad that through Spotlight Search, you can uh, actually really uh, improve that. Anyway, so, um, now in general, I do like Spotlight Search, but it's kind of a little bare. Um, I would like it if maybe Safari, you could like search like your uh, uh, search your history or in your bookmarks through Safari. That would be cool. Um, in addition, it would also be cool if there was an added like Google search where you would have like all your options, but you could also search it through Google on the Spotlight search. Um, I know the Palm Pre has something similar where you can search all kinds of stuff through the web and on it. And this is similar, but I would like it if it had those improvements. Also, the mail, it seems a little... I don't know. I'm not sure. It just doesn't seem, I don't know for sure, but it doesn't seem like it actually searches your mail that great. It kind of just searches maybe like the titles and stuff. Um, and I'll go through it really quickly here. And also, you, the uh, Spotlight Search uh, is included, well, a search is included in several applications such as your mail where you can search. Um, again, with the mail, it only searches the titles. It doesn't actually search the mail itself. So that's, you know, um, you can also do it in uh, iTunes. I mean, not on iTunes, your music playing, whatever, iPod or whatever you want to call it. Um, in the application, you can go ahead and hit search on the very top, and you can search through. That's kind of a nice thing. Um, in general, I like, uh, I do like Spotlight Search, and that's one of the bigger things in 3.0 that uh, it's just been upgraded and just they've done a nice job. If they added Google Search and a couple of small things like that, I would just love it. Okay, guys, so the next thing I will cover is push notifications. I gotta say this, this is gonna be pretty brief just because push notifications are just getting started. Only a couple of applications are approved or using them right now, and it's not that great so far. Um, that said, I'll go ahead and just give you kind of tell you guys a little bit about it. 
Push notifications are basically the next best thing to running background applications. Um, basically, what it is is that all any application that wants to use it can go ahead and send alerts to an Apple server. An Apple server will send it to you, and basically your iPod will check it or your iPhone will check it every I don't know 30 minutes or whatever. Um, basically, the way it works is that let's say you're doing anything you want, like let's I mean it could be uh, on Safari on a, I don't know about on a game because I have not really I've only gotten two push notifications in the past several days. Um, but basically what it does is, uh, let's say, for example, AP, the AP mobile uh, app. Okay, that's what I've got. Okay, now I got one just the other day. It, it popped up saying that, you know, some news. Basically, I can close it or view it. And a lot, some applications go, are doing it right now. A lot will be. Um, the only ones that I really know of right now are the AP and the Tap Tap Revenge. Um... And that's the thing, I don't really, I mean, lots of them are planning on it, but it's just it's just a little early. Um, I don't think they're working quite that great right now, just because I know that they. I've only gotten a couple, like I said, and I know that more of them should. So, I don't know. I mean, it's it, sound, it seems like a good thing, but I, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's just not that great right now. Uh, we'll definitely need to take a look at it later on, and if 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 more apps get it, I might I might talk about it some more later on. Okay, guys. So the last thing I'll be covering today is improvements to the YouTube application. I'm actually was when I was thinking when I was uh, going through the 3.0 about to upgrade. Uh, I was thinking about the things, and I knew that you could improve your you could uh, hook up your account to it and everything, but I really wasn't expecting much. I actually I'm pretty surprised. It's actually quite good. Um, basically, there's a lot of different things you can do. Obviously, you can hook up your account, but there's a lot. Of it, uh, there's a lot more. Um, there's actually a really nice subscription page. This is a sub subscription page. Yeah, there's a nice page. Basically, you can go through all your subscriptions. And the cool thing is, it shows every single video, not just the ones that you know will disappear. It show you every every one of them. So if you wanted to go through and just look through them all, it's actually very cool. There's also uh, the whole, the normal view where you can just see, you know, the latest ones. And now this isn't so much to have to do with the uh, application. The, the cool thing is, they've really, YouTube's really stepped it up on getting, the, preparing the video, get, processing it for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, I mean, I, I know it's just maybe even like four or five months ago, it was like taking maybe a day or two. Now it's generally, I mean, it, as soon as the video is uploaded, I mean, within a couple of hours. I mean, it, it's, it's quite good. Anyway, um, you go ahead and you can also search through your videos, which is quite nice because I like to go check from time to time, see how many views and all that kind of stuff. And it's real simple to open up your application, hit it, and, and you will see all of it in real time. Um, and also, a really nice thing is that you can actually uh, add to favorites and everything, and it's actually your real favorites. In the same way, you can go back into your favorites. Instead of having a separate set on your iPod or iPhone, you actually have your own fa set of favorites. Which I think that's pretty cool. But one of the bigger things is that you can actually go into your more info. Uh, you can see the more videos. You can rate, comment, and everything. And you can see the comments. That's something pretty nice just because the old one just did not really have that at all. Um, and obviously you can watch the videos just the same and uh, just the same as before. Um, it's kind of a small, I mean, it seems small, but, I mean, to obviously, I mean, that's that's a pretty big deal to me because, I mean, I always just had to go open up Safari and scroll through and, you know, have to wait for it to load. But the application, YouTube application, just loads very streamlined, very cool. So, uh, yeah, that's just about it. Um, these are just three of the uh, improvements. I will definitely be covering lots more, guys, so don't worry. Um I see here. I will probably. I mean, there's co cut, copy, paste. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. So, guys, stay tuned. I'll probably have several more videos about it. Hey, guys, be sure to go check out Zizrick.com. We've got all kinds of iPhone and iTouch news, jailbreak tutorials, and lots of really good app reviews. In addition, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com/blazingdreams. Thanks for watching.